Hello again. I hope you all have been having a wonderful start to the year. The portrait I am working on in this video is of a Bernese Mountain Dog named Minnie. Minnie is another dog who comes to the doggy daycare that I work at and is a very good girl. Here is my reference photo that I took of her that I will be keeping open on my iPad so that I can accurately capture her look. Rather than doing watercolor only for this portrait, the client asks for Minnie to be created in my mixed media style, which uses watercolor, colored pencils, and gouache to achieve a more graphic slash illustrative look. As you can see, I already have my watercolor base painted and dry and I will now start refining shapes and adding textures, shading, and details with my Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. These pencils are light fast and are oil based. They have a hard core which stays sharp longer than softer cord brands, so I like to use this pencil to start out with for blocking in details and working in small spaces. Before I continue to talk about Minnie, her portrait, dogs, art, and all the other things that we love, I wanted to mention that I am intentionally posting this on Minnie's owner's birthday. So happy birthday, Mackenzie. I hope you have a wonderful day full of Disney magic and lots of love. Minnie and her mom are huge Disney fans, and I am living for it. When I was asked to create a portrait of Minnie, I had admittedly squealed a little inside because I knew I was going to get to have a lot of fun creating something a little more illustrative that I could have a little more creative freedom with and really play on those Disney themes, which are one of my life's biggest inspirations. I have also been a huge Disney fan ever since I was a child. I've always seen them as great inspirations and wayfinders in animation. That being said, my favorite Disney movies are the 2D ones, and I do miss their cartoons featuring their original characters. My personal favorite Disney movie is a Goofy movie. As far as original characters go, I would definitely say that Minnie the Burner counts as one of them. Minnie is a vocal girl who loves to tell us how much she loves her mom every day at pickup. She's quite a busybody and is always on the move. She's very smart and loves to work for cookies. However, she does not like to stay still and pose for photos. Getting the perfect reference photo of her was very difficult and took me three daycare visits to get one that was clear. Thankfully, one out of the 300 photos that I had taken was exactly what I was looking for, which is the one that I used for this portrait. Of the handful of Bernese Mountain Dogs who regularly attended our daycare, Minnie is the smallest of them all. In that way, she's a very special girl and aptly named. Minnie is also very stylish. She always comes to daycare wearing a flashy collar from her Disney collection. Each of Minnie's family members has their own Disney pattern leash to use when they pick her up. And her mom is just as stylish with her collection of Disney shirts and sweaters. Sometimes she even comes dressed up as Disney princesses for special days. When Minnie's mom and I were discussing how to incorporate Disney elements into Minnie's portrait, several great ideas popped up, but to keep it simple and not take any of the focus off of Minnie the Burner, we agreed on the iconic Minnie Mouse polka dot bow, her name in a ribbon in Disney style font, and some hidden Mickeys placed in my signature glitter spatters. I am using lots of light layers to slowly build contrast and intensity, and to layer in other colors to blend markings 
and capture subtle undertones in the fur colors. So with my colored pencils, I'm still working away at refining the shapes in the fur and forming the natural waves and segments of hair. I have sped up the video a bit as the colored pencil process can be a little tedious to watch. It tends to come together a little more slowly than when using just watercolor. I hope you enjoy watching my process as I create this portrait of Minnie the Bernie's mountain dog. I'll chime in later in the video to explain my process and to make more commentary. Please stay tuned to the end of this video for a special guest appearance.
I'm now finishing up adding in the details with the Faber-Castell pencils and I'm ready to start peeling away the masking fluid that I'm using to protect the integrity of the name in the ribbon of Minnie's bow. This is one of my favorite parts. I find it so satisfying to peel away that gunky masking tape and reveal this perfectly white lettering revealing Minnie's name. Now I am going to start layering in a second brand of colored pencils, the Caran Dash Luminance pencils. These pencils are a little softer than the Faber-Castells and are wax-based. They are also light fast, so I know that the colors that I use are going to help the portrait last a really long time, even if displayed in light. I use them for building a little more color intensity and blending. Because of the softness of the core of the Caran Dash pencils, I do find that it's a little easier to layer light colors on top of dark. This helps with adding a little more detail when forming those clumps of hair and making sure that I'm accurately representing that hairy-like texture and having those natural wisps and the randomness of how fur falls on the coat. Now that the masking fluid has been removed, I am protecting that area with parchment paper while I work so that the red doesn't move into that area from my hand resting in that spot.
And now I am adding in some final details with my Prismacolor Premier Pencil. These pencils I tend to use a little more sparingly. I know less of the selection is light fast, but they are incredibly soft and they are perfect for subtle details and layering light on top of them. The softness of the pencils also helps with blending, so by using them at the end I'm able to pull everything together a little bit more and smooth out any hardness or scratchiness in the previous pencils. My favorite part of creating pet portraits is capturing the perfect gaze of the dog. Here's a closer view as I build detail in the eyes and facial details, which are the most important part.
And now I'm just going in with colored fine liners and creating an outline around the illustration, which helps make it really pop. The fine liners do add a little bit of a more animated appearance to the portrait, and I think that this is absolutely perfect for Minnie and her mom.
Now it's time to add in those iconic and elusive hidden Mickeys. For this, I am using Sparrow Scribbles Glitter Watercolor Paint, and I have linked her Etsy shop in the description. The color that I am using for the hidden Mickeys is called Slate, which is a lovely charcoal gray, nice dark, slightly blue tinted, as you can see, uh, glitter watercolor. I do have to say I have a pretty big collection of Sparrow Scribbles watercolors, and I do love the quality and how the various effects of her paints bring so much liveliness to my illustrations. Also, once again, I completely forgot to hit record when adding in the gouache details of this portrait. As you can now see, Minnie has some nice bright white whiskers, a little bit more shine in her nose, her front teeth have also been added, and she has a nice little glimmer in her eye. I also brightened the lettering in her name to make it really vibrant, and the gouache that I had used in these details is Holbein's Permanent White Artist Grade Gouache.
And now it's time for my other favorite part of this portrait, which is adding more brilliant sparkle and even more magic. I'm using the color Cheers, once again by Sparrow Scribbles, to paint over Minnie's name and give it that dazzling Disney fairy tale touch. I hope you have all enjoyed watching me create this portrait today. If you are interested in seeing more of my illustrations, please follow my Instagram or Facebook page linked in the description. You can also learn more about my commissions through my other social media accounts. And here is the completed piece. I absolutely love how this portrait turned out. Happy birthday Mackenzie and I hope you love Minnie's portrait. Ha ha ha.